budget, if that's all right, we'll go through that, and then we'll go through the operating budget, and uh, then we will hopefully take a vote on what we'll be recommending to the Board of Finance for their meeting on March uh, 7, uh, 2012, to make a recommendation to the uh, public hearing, which will be held in April. So with that, Tony, do you want to give you want to give us an overview first, or sure? Want, uh, yeah, I'll give, let me give you an overview. Um, the documents you have in front of you uh, have a amount to be raised by the taxes of forty million eight eight nine five seventy four, which uh, translates to a mill rate of thirty four point zero one, or a two point eight one percent increase over the prior year. A uh, couple of highlights for you. That includes the most recent Amity Regional School District figure, which we had gotten from the, the last Board of Finance meeting from uh, Matt, and that's actually a 2.69% reduction over the prior year. So that's the most recent figure there. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Is that might would that might change or is? Um, if it changes, it would be reduced further. But at least that's what I'm right, told. Okay. I, I can't obviously it could change in any direction. Right. But, okay. Uh, Matt feels pretty comfortable that, that it that'll be the <coughs> highest in the That's good. So <coughs> with that, um, I wanted to just go to the capital budget section, <coughs> and um, capital budget has total of uh, one point four five six five one six. That's the total appropriation from the capital budget, which if you look on this mill rate sheet, it's the last figure on the list of departments. And um, we start with the Board of Education. And um, I'm just going to go through and highlight the ones that we made adjustments to. And then if there's any discussion, I'm sure we can totally do that. Uh, the first was the Board of Education to grounds and landscaping and just general north and south um, walkways, entries, parking lots. Uh, there's a request of 381,000 there about <coughs> for that year. And um, my thought there was to apply for a steep ramp to try to get that accomplished. And we've had success with the steep ramp <coughs> feature in the past. We've gotten two so far, one for the north, uh, the south, and one for the north. I, I spoke with Dr. Stell on this also, and he thought that was a fine idea. And uh, so that was our plan for that. So we can implement like that plan that was uh, presented to us? But uh, at least a portion of it, depending on how much steep funding you get. Steep funding is actually up to $500,000. So we would apply for the maximum and hope for the best. We were just recently successful with that on the uh, police station. And so <clears throat> that was our thought there. And Tony, would you remind me, uh, there's a study, right? The outfit that did the South driveway and, and yes and there's currently a design to re uh, redesign the north driveway and that the funding for that design work is it's also a steep grant but that's been awarded that's correct happened. that was a prior steep grant from a few years ago and that's how that's already happened. yes yes so <clears throat> they're hopeful to do that work um, this summer in August the week I guess the week in two weeks in August when the schools yeah, the last um, week. yeah. <coughs> So that was our adjustments in that department. Uh, this, this might, I'm sorry. I don't know if you want to go to you know, do department by department. Sure, or you want yeah. to go with any other. Why don't we, are there any questions on the Board of Education? We can uh, <coughs> take those up now. The You can see from the uh, major infrastructure upgrade and building renovations, uh, that is all going to be included, I think, in the recommendation to the Board of Education from the Building Committee, of which uh, Greg is a member uh, in, the, in the upcoming months. So We're planning on finishing <coughs> our recommendations uh, March 2nd, so it's just we've been working really hard, but uh, that's the goal is by March 2nd to have a final recommendation. Our goal is to do the work essentially that was you know outlined in the, in the previous committee, but to try and do it in this phased approach. <coughs> and um, what that's probably gonna mean is, you know, the, uh, the north first roof envelope, and we have to sort of address
address HVAC <coughs> at the same time. Is there a time on the phased approach, or is it is that not determined yet in terms um, of how long? Or uh, it's not really determined yet. Okay. But I think the goal would be to you know year one be able to do that phase, have a year two, have a year three, mm -hmm. and um, so we just are um, trying to get this so it's a manageable number that. And so that we can achieve this without wasting money, and just because it's more challenging when you do it based. Right. Um, doing things phased, we we've sort of figured out is um, <coughs> the HVAC is a huge cost. You have to decide on you have to decide on your mechanicals in advance so that we can build out as we go. So that's really what's been taking most of the effort, but we do hope to be done on uh, March 2nd, and uh, we had to put off that tri-board meeting just because mm -hmm. there was more work to be done. And and these are all pre-reimbursement <coughs> numbers, right? Pre-state reimbursement numbers. Right? Mm -hmm. Correct. <coughs> so how does that work for tonight and what we propose to <coughs> Board of Finance? Because right now we're looking at 17472. Uh, we haven't met with than the tri board meeting yet. So, does that we just push this forward to finance? I mean, they're they're going to meet before finance meeting, <coughs> right? So, with this number, is this number going to change significantly? Do we know? Is it going to? Well, it surely won't be seventeen million or whatever. Uh, it'll it'll probably be in the area. So, how do we we? So, we're not going to recommend this number. No. But how do we work that with finance? How do, well, we'll await the meeting with the joint meeting, and then <coughs> we will take a vote to make a recommendation at that time to the board. So of finance. We'll theoretically, we'll have the joint meeting before finance meets. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so and then the board of finance most likely um, will take up final recommendations at their March meeting. Typically, that's what they do every year. Is they'll meet on the seventh, but really we need the book by when the twentieth or so. Um, but it's, it's right around there. The hearing is the April twenty third, so we. We back up from the hearing to when we need the final recommendations. So their 15th is their March meeting. That's probably when they'll make their final recommendations for the document that we then would publish for the meeting in March in April. Does this have to belong to a vote eventually? Or <coughs> it will eventually, it will. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Either at the annual town meeting or. Right, okay. Yeah, right. special. Yeah, meeting. exactly. Right. right. Okay. So <coughs> this is just um, for planning purposes. Right. Thanks. Thanks, Greg. Okay, so, uh, go ahead. Um, okay, uh, Board of Selectmen, uh, we didn't make any adjustments, nor did we to um, the building department. We just thought there was a while. He's been waiting a long time. Yeah, right. that's been only about four <laughs> years, five years. apart. <laughs> I agree. Uh, in the building maintenance area, there's actually an ad. And that's the Darling House improvements. And um, we're working closely with the um, caretakers, the Historical <laughs> Society, uh, to um, come up with a capital plan mm -hmm. for the Darling House. This includes a lot of repairs to the um, various systems in the house. And um, this is just a portion of that, but things that were uh, immediate in nature. And um, so that's what that is for. And you, we had some uh, repairs funded earlier in the year, if you remember, <coughs> and mostly for some painting and electrical. This continues on that. Um, it also has some uh, longer range. There's some issues with the house in terms of the roof and the um, um, some other uh, damage done in the upstairs, uh, some of the rooms upstairs. And it is an asset of the town that um, you have to consider when making your capital budget so. You know, we've been trying to have a tour of the uh, <coughs> Darling House by the members of the Board of Selectmen and then you haven't been able to work that out. Uh, so we should do that going forward. I don't know how many of you have been in there and taken a look at it. And, uh, it's, you know, it's a treasure uh, of it is the town. A, it is, it is yeah. a really nice place. When I first moved here 25 years ago. They do right? a dinner. Remember we yes, went, they do. They do yeah. a dinner twice a year, spring and yeah. fall harvest. And yeah. last year it was nice, but it is in disrepair. It is. There so we should uh, arrange for that, Jerry, yeah. sometime in the spring or mm -hmm. definitely a good yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, the fire commission.
information to change was the radio system. Mm -hmm. Just uh, and the first first on the radio system is it matches the funding with the police, which is their portion of it, which is out a year in 2014. So that was one reason for that. And also to give more time to come up with, um, you know, uh, you know, to understand better the process of upgrading the radio system. Uh, I know the last time this was done, so right before I came. About nine years ago. Right. Yeah. <coughs> just as I was coming in, uh, there was a committee that was formed to help look into this process mm -hmm. and not only assess the needs at that time, but what's best to move forward with. Right. So. And there is a committee now, more or less, of working together with the police and fire, aren't they uh, looking at this? Uh, Chief Rowe and then uh, Ray Stewart. Right. Yeah. 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 <coughs> system has served us very well for the last decade or really. It got us. It got yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Last time we did it, we borrowed money. Yeah. You can't believe it's been <coughs> nine years already. Yes. Because yeah. yeah. I went to Chicago or Motorola to yeah. pick up up and go through the, the train. Yeah. 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 It's been a, yeah. And we issued 10 year, ten year uh, bonds on those, on that radio. Mm -hmm. in 10 years. It wow. actually worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> The next uh, item I'd like to discuss is in parks. There is no change in either human services or the library. Mm -hmm. In parks, there's the uh, number six organic pesticide equipment. And um, I want to bring uh, just a, a, a discuss um, last year in the budget recall we had in our budget $30,000 for the um, relocation of the track to portion of the track on the Fitzgerald track that goes through the parking lot if you remember we had this discussion last year the recognition brought it up and put it in the budget um, well we haven't done that and for a, a number of reasons um, one in, involved where you would relocate the track there were some wetlands it was wet in this, in the west, you know, it would have required some uh, wetland uh, issues and maybe building some structure. It was very complicated, became very complicated very quickly. So, um, that those funds have not been used. So, one thing I was thinking is possibly that's an opportunity to use it for um, this, this issue if you think that's a good idea, and then you don't have to put it in the budget. Then. Is it comparable? Yeah, it's actually pretty comparable because the difference in 22 plus about seven is the difference in the chemicals. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it would be it would pretty much cover the um, the equipment and the chemicals. So we'd have to figure out some other method of and, uh, dealing with the with the labor issue with the, the road. Well, I, I agree. I, well, what he did was I, I, I his plan. Well, I don't know if he's actually done it yet, but his plan was to put additional signage up. Right. Are you talking about that. at the Fitzgerald property that you have people running where the cars are coming? Correct. Right. Well, you have, there's a part where you've got the initial oh. parking lot, yeah, and then the road narrows <coughs> when the cars driving yeah, to get up to the community exactly garden. Yeah. Yes. Plus, they also have cross country runs up there. Right. The teams. Yeah. That's where they run their meets. So I would e I would have even thought just like landscape timbers along the edge of the yeah, that's the sort of thing so you just kind yeah. of separate yeah. it out and that's not going to cost yeah that's dollars. exactly what we're right. thinking yeah. it doesn't have to be complicated I right mean. it doesn't well have it, to be. the original plan which was the thirty thousand dollars was a complicated plan which mm -hmm. didn't prove right. not to be um yeah. well then your suggestion sounds like a very a very good one yeah so we use that money that was allocated yeah. for that <coughs> right, new walkway to apply to the to pesticides yeah, and that's that a great idea. I would I would use the f I would do a transfer of funds at the next meeting. Yeah, I mean that you can take care of my concerns right. about the expense. Right. right. And this, was, and this was his figure, right? right? Give it this was. Was. Yeah. yeah. The twenty-two yeah. eight. Yeah. It was twenty-two right. eight for the. So it's revenue neutral. The. Uh, that's for the equipment, right? The equipment yeah. and then this stuff. Right. The twenty-five five and the seventy-five hundred. Right. Is what you're talking about, which we would. Well, what would happen is the um, it's the seventy-five hundred. I'm okay. <laughs> it's the additional money here for it. the equipment for this minus the labor issue. Okay. Um, which um, is fourteen thousand. Is the labor issue? Okay. Yeah. Right. And that's <coughs> that's in the uh, operating operating, operating thing for the park. Right. Mm -hmm. But I, I would 
I would just comment on the organic pesticide application. When the Recreation Commission made its unanimous recommendation to move in this direction, I think there was an understanding among you know, among each you know by each commissioner that there would be these upfront costs for the equipment for some additional labor. But this this might be my best opportunity to reiterate that the commissioners were uh, eager for this to be a phased in uh, move toward <coughs> synthetic chemical free field maintenance. Right, be on a few fields right. for two years. Two complexes. Right. Yeah, half the Not complexes. Not all of the fields right. of town, correct. And, um, and so anyway, I, I, want, I just wanted to remind us of that and, and to underscore that uh, a story in today's Connecticut Post about legislation currently before the General Assembly. Uh, several municipalities have, uh, have uh, convinced lawmakers to introduce a bill that would roll back the outright ban on synthetic chemical use at primary schools <coughs> because fields in some towns are, well, let me quote. They claim their athletic fields are now crabgrass strewn lots. And then there are quotes here from the uh, director of parks and recreation in Glastonbury, someone else uh, from uh, South Windsor's town manager. So I only brought this as, to serve as a, as a cautionary tale. If Woodbridge is to move in this direction, I think it's a great idea and it's I think there's consensus that we would like to, but even though we'll have the equipment, we'll have a budget for more manpower, maybe we ought to take baby steps. Yeah. I think that was one of the concerns of the rec was that some of the fields may become dangerous from a perspective of if they're not well turfed, they're harder, and there's more of an issue of the kids getting hurt. I don't think they're going to roll back I find I, I I don't think it's going to happen to have them roll back at the <coughs> high schools, but that I'm sorry, roll back not here. not that I would uh, advocate for that. Roll back what I didn't hear. What you you said. had said that they were thought they there's a bill, right? And I'm not sure that it will that it will go anywhere. I don't either. see it going anywhere, but I'm sure they'd oppose anything that would uh, push it to either statewide or at the high schools. I think right now it's only up through eighth I, grade. I correct? thought that Adam correct. was pretty secure in the fact that he, if he overseeded and overseeded it, he, he felt comfortable that he could manage <coughs> these fields. That's right. I think he did say that. Yeah. Right. But he also said that he tried to do something like that a few years ago and he lost a field. Mm -hmm. And uh, it took a while to get that field back. Mm -hmm. And that's the concern that REC has is that if they lose a field, they'll have to rent something mm -hmm. somewhere else. And they're not prepared to make that, mm -hmm. put that in their budget. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm I'm not a, a turf expert. But I'm just relaying the the concerns of the recreation commission, <coughs> largely because there aren't additional fields to move on to. Correct. But isn't it the case that whether we take baby steps or do it all at one time? We still need the equipment. Oh yeah, we have. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Right. No, there's no, right. yeah. right. so there's no argument. That's what this is for, right? There's no argument that so we're going to do this. Yep. Yeah. And I think it just makes it easier that we're not going to do the pathway. Right. Right. And we'll just use those funds. And that to funds will be used for this. So right. for us, it's a revenue neutral type. And of there are enough operation. reasonable minds in this town to figure out the right way to sort of right. meet all those varying right. interests. Mm -hmm. and then right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. The hey Tony, the the numbers that were presented uh, on that. Uh -huh. um, were the, the labor and the material? Yeah. That was town wide, right? Both Correct. That before. Yes. yes. So if we were to back that off to uh, center in uh, West River, the equipment's the equipment. Correct. But yeah. center, we're not using any pesticides, right? Is that correct? West River. I mean, West River. Oh, uh, West River. He only uses the herbicide there, not the. I thought at the end of the meeting we were talking about doing center and, and, uh, and West Acorn River. Hill. Yeah. No, I think it was no, definitely not Acorn Hill. Hill. <coughs> <laughs> um, I, thought, I think it was West oh, River. No, it was not. It was not. 
Acorn. Acorn Hill is Yankee Stadium. Acorn no, Hill. They don't want to mess. We with had you. this conversation. Well, we can bring Adam back for, for the purposes of tonight. This this yeah. will um, just so, re resolves the issue of putting right. it in the budget. Right. 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 Yeah. You could also always revisit it. You have to right. want to check for the money anyway. Okay. No, but th that that's a separate issue. We're right. buying the equipment. The question is, what fields are we going to do? Right. Yeah, and that that's yeah, for, later, for a later time. Later time. Yeah. Okay. Right. We can bring it back on that. Yeah, maybe we'll do the transfer. Right. March. We're going to do it at March, yeah. whatever, yeah. 6th or yeah, yeah. something. Yeah, March, and yeah. come okay. back and go over it with us. Okay. We'll have to make a decision. Is that today's uh, Connecticut Post for us? Yes. Um, the next adjustment is in um, pool and gym. We re removed the three hundred thousand dollars from the pool equipment replacement uh, condition report, and I know that's something that the building committee is part of their charge, correct? Mm -hmm. So that's why we removed that. Uh, I think that is it. Can I ask a quick question? Getting back to the recreation commission. Mm -hmm. um, the $250,000 figure that is still listed on 2017 for a, a 90 foot baseball diamond. Um, so we took that out of there, no? We, no, we never did. We're, we're going to, yeah. We could, though. No. Yeah. That's the, the and I, uh, I think just to, just so everybody's on the same blank page. <laughs> That, that, of course, is from 2017. No, I know. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, great. Teach me to read all the way across the I don't know the background. <laughs> what? I don't even know the background on that. It was before our time. <laughs> this has been going on for years, about a 90-foot diamond. And, uh, <laughs> so it was always put in the budget, but never uh, you know, authorized. <coughs> there was a referendum back in a long time ago. There was a refer town referendum. The town voted to ex to, s to spend two hundred fifty thousand dollars on a on a, uh, a ninety foot diamond. It was never bonded. It's still out there. Still. I think at the time there was no site. Right. So right. They didn't have a site, but, but there was. But the, the, the town voted right. in a, no site. Right. Town right. voted in a referendum right. to bond for two hundred fifty thousand dollars for a ninety foot diamond, and it never got bonded. So it's still it's still out there. Because we've never really so since then we've uh, made this arrangement uh, with the uh, Fathers Baseball League uh, to uh, use the Elegy property, provided they raise the money to build the ball field, and uh, it's over a five-year period, I guess. And so we'll be looking for a report from them come July or so how they've been doing with the fundraising. So. I have a question. Can yeah. I thank you. A stupid question. I apologize. Mm -hmm. But should I be mentally thinking that this three hundred thousand dollar figure under pool and gym now belongs under the board of ed number? Cor well, it's part of that project, so yeah, part of their charge incorporated into that charge. Okay. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So yes. any questions or comments on this? The, the ten thousand dollars for the uh, government access television was taken. That's disappeared from the operating budget, and then it's here. No, the um, the one from the operating budget is part of the grant, correct, Paul? Yes. The one in the capital budget. Mm -hmm. Was the oh, they asked. Okay. Yeah. Is that is that the grant also? Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. So we can take that up too. Well, it's already it's already out from the operating. Right. Budget. right. Yeah. But it's still in the, it was still in the capital budget here. Okay, so, oh, so it, it disappears from both. So that's my understanding is that they're both they're both going to be funded through the grant. It's one item. I probably put it in two oh, places because okay. I didn't know. Okay, that's probably what it is. Just to make it's sure. Capital lesson. Right. That, <laughs> okay. So that reduces. Okay, so the that reduces it by those two items. I re I removed the, um, the pesticide equipment. And the uh, ten thousand in the WGA TV. So that gives us a capital budget to be recommended to the board of finance. And, uh, for, for what's it? <coughs> well, 
one million four two three seven one six. So I entertain a motion to approve the uh, recommendation from the Board of Selectment to the Board of Finance for the capital budget for fiscal years 2013 <coughs> in the amount of $1,423,716. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. So then that gets us to the operating budget. <coughs> we begin with the board of select. Okay. <coughs> the, um, mainly on the board of select there were a lot of um, minor changes, um, four, one, two, three, four in particular, um, just mostly reflecting what we felt the um, actual should be, or more accurate, closely accurately reflected that, um, with the exception of meeting supplies, which was reduced um, by about half. And, uh, There's no real substantive changes here other than some minor changes to reflect what we felt actual expenses would probably most likely be. Yeah. So, so the state senate, right. so unknowns there. Yes. Yeah. 
Some of us yeah. are in Milford, some of us are in Woodbridge. <laughs> are you actually going to have to vote in? Where's the voting site? It'll be in the same place, but it'll be a Here. separate area for that vote okay. in the, in the mm -hmm. center vote. Right. Mm -hmm. You want to pay for this? Divide the gym into four <laughs> parts instead of two. All right. <clears throat> you better buy more machines and oh, have more people. More people have to work. Yeah. Government access television. We move to 10,000, as we discussed earlier, mm -hmm. for the grant. General administration, there's a um, minor reduction in rentals of equipment to 68.16. Tony, is that a final figure on the liability insurance? No, it is not. That's a good question. And um, we're currently diligently working on that. And um, so a lot of times with liability insurance and with some of the benefits, we typically don't have that information till probably uh, the earliest the Board of Finance meeting, sometimes not until after the hearing. So as soon as we have that most updated information, we will reflect that in the budget. And we can always amend these. You know, yeah, these are always amended up meeting. until the town meeting, actually. Yeah. Okay. Information systems. Information systems. We did um, a few minor adjustments. Let's see. We reduced uh, the computer line and the software upgrades by um, a few hundred dollars here and there. Okay. Next is the finance department. I think we got one here too, if I'm not mistaken. Buyback sick was reduced a little to reflect the actual. And dues by $5. <laughs> Sharp pencils here, right? That it's wow. paying for the cookies, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and I get the cookies somehow. Well, that was it. Okay. Next is the tax collector. Yeah, I believe on this one we reduced the printing and binding by a few hundred dollars. Buy back sick. Yeah, buy back sick. And um, dues. These are all small reductions. Small reductions. Right, yeah. 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 Next is the tax assessor. Uh, there are no changes here. Uh, board of Tax Review. No changes there. Uh, board of Finance. Um, no changes. I, uh, <clears throat> I made a note to ask about the thought process behind the contingency line, given in particular uh, the country club of Woodbridge. That's a good question. Uh, the, the thought process behind the contingency was in fact that that's a historical number that is used for contingency over the past, aside from last year, when we had some contractual issues. That was just historically been the figure that has been used for contingency. And it's, um, I can't recall if there was ever a time when we had to replenish it. So, um, but in light of the country club, it's your decision if you want to increase that amount. Well, I, I, we, we maybe want to do that. I think we want to, we, we, the process with the country club at Woodbridge, we're awaiting the final budget recommendation from the Casper group that's going to be managing it. Then the Country Club of Woodbridge Commission is going to take a look at that budget and see if they agree with that or not. And I think they may, I'm told they may make some changes in that, be more conservative. And so then we'll be able to see. That'll really well, that's when it'll really tell you if there's going to be a contribution. Well, and right, we haven't gotten to that page yet, but that page was all zeros. And right. Like that's, that's the reason why it is, because we don't have that. Yeah. If, right. And, and if, if it's the commissioners or if it's Casper or some combination they'll make a presentation the way other departments do I guess. Correct. Sure. Yeah, right. There will be a there will be a uh, uh, capital request line item in that department. There will budget. be correct. Yeah. There'll be both. Okay. But that, that, that will, we should get that in the next thirty days. No I, yeah. I, I under normal under normal um, going forward they'll be in the, the queue with all the other departments. The ordinary budget right. process, right. but... Uh, this year, because of the unusual circumstances, it's it, the timing right. is not mm -hmm. optimal. So, we should okay, have that so in March. Okay, so... To so be continued. Right. Thank you. Uh, next 
Planning and zoning, we made one a minor change to buyback sick, and I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Next okay. Next zoning board of appeals. Uh, no changes there. The center. Uh, there's no changes there either. The other big piece of this uh, budget that was we're still fine tuning is the oil heating line, and. Um, that's a sort of a product of um, how the gas project winds its way through. So um, right now we have the funding for oil heating. Okay. Former fire station. <coughs> Again, that's oil heating as well. That's right. final. Yeah. Right. So oil heating figures are not final. And they're not final. Uh, not only because of the gas, but, but also because, because of the bid, because of the bid process, right. which um, so was delayed because of the that process. But we discussed that at the last meeting. Hopefully, that will take place shortly. Right. So by the next meeting, we'll have that information, and for the board of finance on the on the consortium. Correct. Right. Yeah. Okay, and then the country club of Woodbridge. Did you see? There's all the zeros there, but that'll we say will be changed. Police Department. Okay, in the Police Department we had a series of changes that go down towards the bottom. There's a whole series of changes. Mm -hmm. um, they're minor in nature, mm -hmm. but there's uh, regional services and mayor maintenance of vehicles, rentals of equipment. We should have sharpened our pencil and see where we can uh, make some reductions. Sale on the second, the next page, car allowance, uh, dues, office, office. Right. Some of the major changes. Any questions on the police? Next is the fire commission. It's a significant reduction in the repair and maintenance building line, 53530. Mm -hmm. Correct. And uh, is that because some of that's going to be done this year? Is that? Well, they had. Um, well, it's a, as you know, it's a new building, and we're hopeful that um, you know some of those expenses we had this year were related to the um, uh, we had reimbursed for uh, for the hurricane. Some of the building expenses. Hopefully, we're just trying to feel our way through that. that we won't have to spend as much. We may, but that's our that's our hope. The other changes were in rentals of equipment and computer. That's right. Minor changes. Minor right? changes, right. Okay. Next is medical services. There are no changes. District animal control. No changes. <coughs> Building department. No adjustments. Okay. Public works. In public works, we made a significant change to the road maintenance line. Road maintenance is used for not for paving, which is in the capital budget, but for more maintenance activities related to the um, to roads. And um, if there's any uh, you know issues with, sometimes they're used for crack sealing and for uh, if there's a pipe problem with a uh, road, the problem with a road, uh, those are sort of the issues that are, are used uh, under road maintenance. And um, because we had a large increase in rentals of equipment, which was for the tree work, which was put in the budget, we felt that a reduction here was appropriate for this year. And we're having a mild winter. So far. So 
maybe. <laughs> right, right. Wow. Well, there's got, yeah, I mean, there's got to be some. Yeah. Uh, so we haven't had the chance for any money for supplies and stuff. The and clouds and everything else. Yeah. yeah. So that means more cookies. Right. <laughs> <laughs> more, more, more road maintenance. Right, right. Okay. okay. Okay, waste management. Can I ask you a question about the tree work? Sorry, just yep, sure. is that related to getting rid of a lot of the things that are near the wires? Or we, we're going to be more aggressive about touching. that. Correct. So, so that going forward, we don't have the same. If there's an incident going forward, yeah. hopefully we're better prepared okay. because of the, the number of trees are. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's Thank idea. you. We've yeah. also made arrangements That's to good. have a uh, standby. Uh, Yes, a tree, a tree, a tree service. Standby, right. So that when we have a, a, a an emergency or a storm like this, these people will be available to go right out. We don't have to That's go through any problems. That's great. Very good. Yeah. Good idea. Go last year. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Waste management. I guess there's a change in buyback. Sick. Correct. Right. I guess this is the only change. Right. Right. The only change there. Yeah. Remediation. No change here. This is as a result of the gasoline spill in the back. Big state testing. Big state, right. Big state, yeah. We're still testing two wells, maybe. Two or four. Yeah. Two wells on Center Road. Right. They're on uh -huh. our property. So oh, they're on our property? I think so, yeah. Huh. Okay, building maintenance. Building maintenance, yes. We made some, ch uh, we reduced maintenance supplies a little. And, um, Try to see if they can get by with that, and then general professional services we've reduced a little, and buy back sick in overtime. Okay. Human services. The big change in human services was the reduction of the capital furniture uh, and equipment fixture line. Hopefully they were able to acquire a stove at no charge, mm -hmm. which is what that reduction represents. And uh, that was a major one. There's a few other minor ones, but there's still money in there for the other work that <coughs> needs to be done for that project. Recreation. Part time seasonal wages were reduced slightly by ten thousand dollars. That's it. That's it. Yep. Pool and gym. It just the uh place has to come down right so that can come off so what number the three that goes back down to 17 17 680 yeah okay. That was a request of his before the pesticide issue uh, came up, okay. and that was just to add one more college person, I believe, mm -hmm. for his workload over the summer. I think with that and a few adjustments, he could probably handle um, the, some of the additional work without adding that extra labor. A lot of it centers around the use of um, Roundup and weed whacking, that's where a lot of the actual labor comes into play. Yeah. And um, one suggestion he made was one place that particularly a lot of um, weed whacking is at the town cemetery, and that was a lot of the labor that was required, that was involved. And one of the second area is around the center here. That's where the two um, labor intensive areas are. 
terms of not using Roundup. So um, it's something for you to, just to think about, but if in fact those two areas were exempt or somehow he was able to use Roundup on those two areas, then he wouldn't need any extra labor over and above what's in his budget. So I think he had a number of $14,000 in his recommendation. Exactly. That's yep. why we didn't put it in there. Okay. Yeah, I did have some concerns about weed whacking your Particularly stones. Particularly the, the older, the older that gray stones that are made damaged? of sandstone. I don't know, but yeah. it's not good. I was thinking about that, yeah. yeah. It's not good. Right. And cemeteries are not like playing fields. It's, it's <laughs> That's right. As far as we know. The occupants are it's different <laughs> groups. <laughs> I have no guarantees on any of that. <laughs> <laughs> so so when we decide on this pesticide issue, we'll decide on if we phase it. Right, and that's how, another question. And right. it plays into the amount of money needed. Correct. Because mm -hmm. if we simply do two fields and nothing more, right. then, then you know, the amount of chemicals and stuff is probably different. And um, it would be just, you know, it would impact the, the budget, certainly. Mm -hmm. So once you make that decision, then we can reflect it accordingly. So I guess it's to say that we would, would not include the cemetery or the town properties in the center of the town. As, as being exempt or not exempt? Say it again, I'm sorry. Uh, well, they would not be included in the change of pesticide use, oh. particularly for um, Roundup use, with the weed whacking. Well, we can have Adam here to discuss. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. yeah. Visited, visited at that time. Yeah. Visited. Mm -hmm. We can always amend the decision tonight. Yeah. We can always change the budget. Add money to the budget. Yeah. Okay. Thomas Darling House. Well, there are no changes. No changes in the library. Conservation Commission? Nope. No changes. No. In all the white ones? No changes here. Employee Fringe Benefits? Well, employee Fringe Benefits is another area that we're working hard on to get some final figures, particularly with health insurance and um, workers' compensation. The, that will definitely not go up, but could hopefully go down. That's the direction. Same with the liability insurance. Those mm -hmm. will definitely not go up, but it's a possibility that can go down. We're working hard to try to accomplish that. So um, if that does happen, then we will change those figures somewhere and later in the process, whether that be board finance proposed or somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay. I, um, I would just uh, applaud your commitment to the OPEB contribution. I think uh, I think that's an important program for the town to pursue and, um, and, and fund. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Right. I appreciate your support yeah. of that. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it's, yeah. it's right. a reality right now. Yeah. Yeah. Something's not going to go away. No. Right. And and Woodbridge is is among a a small group of towns. Definitely, a handful, handful, of handful. Yes, I think that's to your credit. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Okay, and next is the debt service. No changes to debt service. Woodbridge Board of Education. Yeah, we did not make any changes to that budget either. Is there any way to uh, underline <laughs> that recommendation to the Board of Finance? <laughs> the exclamation point. Just, just <laughs> ask. <laughs> <laughs> right. We can do that. Okay, Amity Regional School. And that, that I mentioned earlier, we made that reduction. And we'll just keep um, mm -hmm. on top of that, case any further changes. Transfer from general fund. That's capital, we discussed that. Yep. We made two changes there. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. So, um, so, just a few quick notes about revenue. That's the next section. Um, we received, we discussed that at the last meeting, the governor's recommended budget. It's pretty close to where we are here. Um, the major changes there, let's see if that again. One change I did was removed um, manufacturer's machinery and equipment. That was removed. 
for seventeen thousand dollars. And uh, there are some minor changes. The Pequot fund went up a few thousand. These are all based off the governor's budget. Um, excess let's see, what's it, uh, transportation went up a few hundred dollars. Um, no other change here. Uh, college and hospital pilot was reduced by a few, a few thousand dollars. So there's a general, there's a change of about twenty thousand dollars in um, intergovernmental revenue. The uh, other change is a uh, increased building permits. Is one thing we increased. That was a budget recommended at seventy-five thousand, and uh, we felt comfortable requesting hundred and thirty thousand there. That was the current budget for this year. You can see the last year's actual 168, 128 for 2010. And this year's probably going to be close to that. 130, 100, mm -hmm. probably even more, 150. So we were comfortable with that one. Okay. And there's one other change here up. Recreation fees. Last 2011, they were 150, almost 158,000. We increased that to 150,000. We're hopeful that we'll be able to see some revenue there. Those are the major changes in revenue that I wanted to bring to your attention. I don't know if anyone has any other suggestions or comments or questions. I remember when Terry was here and he was talking about revenue from building permits, and he said it's mostly all about. Uh, whole house generators and everything else. Right. But I, I'm trying to understand why, if why he came in so low though at 70, why he only thought he'd, he'd be bringing in that amount. Was there something other than that? No, I think he likes the estimate on the conservative side here, okay. and um, historically that's been he likes to only he only sort of puts in there what he knows or is comfortable that he knows is going to happen. So anything above that. We are taking a educated guess that in fact we're going to collect that. And historically, we have collected that amount, especially over the past few years. But it's a guess, and um, you know, if it, if it happens great, if not, then you know, we have to deal with that. Okay. But but it's just a style thing, I think, on his part. Yeah. Nothing more than that. Yeah, okay. I think so. Okay. Would you just remind us again, Tony, of what the uh, interest income? Certainly. Uh, Our interest income, um, see it's $50,000. We, we may even come a little lower, lower than that this year, probably closer to 35 or 40. Mm -hmm. I'm hopeful that we see a slight uptick. Um, back in the mid, I'd say about 2005 or so, our budget for that was about 700,000. Mm -hmm. You can believe that. I believe it. So that's how far it's, it's fallen, which is probably half a mil. And uh, so, and the, the other side went down a little, but not that drastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, bar, bar, debt borrowing rates were maybe at that time four, four and a quarter maybe, and now they're at three. So they haven't come down that far, but uh, we were it was a big blow. So, uh, do we have a number here to? For the operating budget to recommend to the board of finance? There are, so there were three changes. 20, reduction of $22,800 for the pesticide removal of the equipment. $10,000 reduction for the removal of the WGA TV capital budget for the grant. And $3,000 in supplies in the parks department. Gives you a total expenditure budget of $43,504,839. That's a um, combine that with the non-tax revenue of 2.6 million dollars, gives you the amount to be collected by taxes of 40 million, 853,774, and gives gives you a, a mill rate of 33.98, which is 2.73 percent above last year's mill rate. 2.73. Okay, so we entertain a motion then to recommend to the Board of Finance an operating budget of $43,504,839. Million, $43 million uh, so I entertain 
Is there a second? Second. Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Passes unanimously. And then, do we need a further a motion, or is that sufficient? For uh, for what uh, for what the amount to be? Uh, Did you include that in your motion? No. Just the top of the one. Yeah, you might want to just be a mill rate. Yeah. yeah. So with a mill rate uh, of the thirty-three point nine eight. Okay. Okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So you accept that amendment? So yes. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. And then the board of finance will review the budget and make their recommendations. And <clears throat> and all of it is pending uh, insurance. Correct. Oh yeah. Yeah. Insurance. Insurance. insurance refinement and the country club. The country club right. right. This is just as of today. It'll, it'll right. change as we go right. up to the annual time. Yeah, heating oil. Heating oil. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we meet again on uh, March six or yeah March six. Yeah. Tuesday March six. That's a regular meeting. Regular meeting for March. Right. And we'll have uh, we'll have Brad here, but and uh, I mean Adam. Adam. Right? Adam. Adam. Adam will be here. Maybe Brad will be here too. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, okay. All right. Entertain a motion to adjourn. So, so moved. second. All in favor? Thank you.